This is Dr. Victoria Givens, your facial plastic surgeon here at Givens Facial Plastic Surgery in Austin, Texas. Today, we're going to talk about the rhinoplasty, or more commonly termed, the nose job. Now, this procedure is extremely commonplace and very popular these days. And usually, when a patient comes in to see me, they're either coming to see me for difficulty breathing through their nose, or they want to improve the appearance of their nose. But more often than not, it's a bit of both. So we'll talk about what's important to establish for both of those. So having a one-on-one -on -one consultation is vital to making sure we have the correct treatment plan because we need to look inside of your nose to make sure there's no obstructing factors. And then we also need to establish what you want to improve aesthetically in the outside or external part of the nose. And while patients often think, I just want this tip moved over a little bit or this nostril moved in a little bit more, it's not really just a, cut and dry, if I move one thing, it doesn't affect anything else. The nasal structure is very complicated and very complex. And so going to a physician who regularly performs a rhinoplasty procedure and is very well versed in the nasal anatomy will prevent you from having complications and will improve your optimal outcome. So when I talk to patients about rhinoplasty, we need to establish how the inside of the nose looks and how the outside of the nose looks. And we also need to discuss recovery and what you'll need to plan to do during that post-operative time. If we're going to be adjusting the straightness of the nose, especially from the outside, you'll need to be wearing a splint for at least a week after your surgery. Stitches are mostly on the inside of the nose. If we need to make an incision right on the edge at the bottom for an aesthetic purpose to be able to really contour the tip, or see inside of the nose, there'll be a very small stitch line that usually heals very imperceptibly. Now, contrary to most people's belief, the nose job is really not a painful procedure. You feel a bit more achy after surgery, but that usually goes away within just a few days. And as soon as you get that splint removed, you can really see an improvement in the straightness and aesthetic appearance of the nose. If I was asked what the most popular reason patients come in for rhinoplasty besides the nasal breathing component, it's either to remove a dorsal hump, which is a hump that goes from the top to the bottom, or to improve how the tip of the nose looks. Now, as I said before, it's extremely important to have a one-on-one -on -one consultation with your physician and to go to someone who does regular rhinoplasty work. I hope this was helpful and I look forward to seeing you in the future. If you're ready to transform your life, it's time to call me at 737-787-8200 or email the office at office at givensmd.com. Thank you.